Hey folks, it's Grimwit from NatchEvil.com, and check it out! Dogs playing poker. Dogs playing poker. Nothing earth-shattering. Yeah, it's just dogs playing poker. Ooh, cigars. Those were Cuban cigars. These dogs were playing poker in style. Pretty sure those cigars are legal. I better take them for, uh, uh, ex exhibits? Some evidence? Never mind. Hey, those are only for players. I'm a dog. <laughs> so that's apparently a dog. Well, let's talk to the poker dogs. Um. Hey, look. The ugly girl wants to play too. Then she has to place her bet. She can't play without a bet. Meow. I remember when dogs said meow. Lily had heard that Manny spoiled quickly in the sun. Oh, we need that then. I'm sure we need to put this in the sun somehow. Coffee. The coffee was black, just like the chasm Lily saw when she closed her eyes. I'm just going to tell you now, the uh, coffee knocks you into the real world, so we're not going to get that. However, we might do something with the champagne bucket. B -b -b bucket. Woof! Someone had forgotten to suck on their ice cubes. What a waste. I, I chew mine. Let's grab that bucket. Lily liked the cold. It reminded her of her bed. Cute. Is that pretty much all we can look at here? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go outside and see what this western village looks like. Okay. Oh, I get it. Nice. Lily wanted to become a gold digger too when she grew up. Then she'd finally have her own pickaxe. And it'd be made of diamond. The cash cow didn't want to trample or devour Lily. It was simply ignoring her. No. There was a lot of room for provisions in the saddlebags, so the cash cow wasn't forced to stop at every little milestone. I'm sure that's a joke somewhere in there. Yeah, we just have the mayonnaise and mess with that saddlebag. Ooh, we can open it and we can close it. My god, technology, you guys! Let's talk to this gold dig. Wait, no, wait, what else is there? Now, these are all places. We can go to the Indian Cemetery. We can go to the courtyard, we can go to the sheriff. Let's talk to the gold digger. The... Um... Howdy, stranger. What's a nice little girl like you doing in a rough place like this? Wait, you're not here for the gold rush too, are you? Well, then you might as well just pack up your bags again. The only gold around here is in my mine. And I'm the only one who knows the way there. Plus, you can't get in there right now anyway. Oh, okay. Can you tell me about your mine? I knew it! You're after my gold! Well, you can just forget it. My gold mine is good and hidden. And even if you found it, you wouldn't get in. The entrance is guarded by a Wendigo. Lily wasn't interested in the mine. But this Wendigo made her curious. Could he be another manifestation of her behavioral blocks? Perhaps it would be worthwhile to look for the mine after all. Hey, can you give me a map to the uh, mine? Well, forget it. The way to my mine is top secret. Even I have trouble remembering it. Hmm, I should actually ride over there again. Yeah, you, you should. I'll, I'll just sneak inside your saddlebag. It's my mind. I can sn sneak inside your saddlebag. We, you don't know what a Wendigo is, do you? Uh-uh. Well, I don't know much myself. It's some kind of Indian demon that's stopping me from getting into my mind. If you want to know more, you need to ask the shaman. He's knocking around here somewhere. Uh, okay. How do I how do I find the shaman? Sure. The shaman? No idea. I never met him personally. Sometimes I see his smoke signals on the horizon. That's it. But if anyone can tell you about Wendigos, it's him. I wonder how come this guy doesn't have a pink brush or something. Let's talk to the sheriff. Maybe he can help us find the shaman. Shaman. Shaman shaman. The shaman. door was firmly locked. Damn. Too bad. Okay. Courtyard, Indian cemetery, prairie. Ooh, let's make a home there. Home on the prairie. It's a reference. 
look it up. Hey, it's a vulture. Lily seemed to be surrounded by strange birds today. How sweet. Why do birds suddenly appear every time I feel fear? Yeah, yeah. Right back at you. Tell me, uh, you weren't planning on decaying in the next couple of days, were you? Uh-uh. Uh, oh, well. No problem, huh? I should be cutting down on carcasses anyway. My dietician is a pulling his hair out. More fresh fruit, he says. I have a salad and now it's in. I know all that. But what can I do, huh? I just love that rotten stuff. I just have to smell the rotting flesh. And I start circling. And honestly, out here in the desert, huh? It's hard to maintain a healthy diet. You try and leave something for later, and the bacteria just move right in. You could get the most horrible diseases, huh? Festering boils, oozing eczema. Oh man, all this talk of food has made me hungry. Please, leave me alone with my growling belly. Are you French? Are you Italian? Are you Yiddish? Pick an accent. Oh, there's something going on over there. Somewhere on the horizon, a donut factory seemed to be having problems with its chimney. Yeah. That explains most everything, I guess. A sign informed Lily that this reconstruction of an original Indian sundial had been donated by the Association of Experimental Art. It was possible to turn the pedestal. Yar, I be talking in a southern accent, and this be an Indian sundial. I have power over time itself! Hmm. This is supposed to go bad. Oh, good, that did work. Decayed? Not decayed. Decayed? Not decayed. Happy looking? Happy looking. Lily looked around. Why was there never anyone around to stop you from doing something when you needed it the most? <sighs> oh. <laughs> what the? What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, now I have measles in my mind. Let's check out the Indian Cemetery. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Really, there's only the fire. Which one of you is Pedro? None of you have... I guess these are all the gnomes that exist in her mind. As Lily stared into the flames, she suddenly became dizzy. Um, hi. Hi, Lily. Did you enjoy your little excursion? Uh-huh. Um, I don't have a restriction thing here. I usually have this little thing at the bottom that tells me I shouldn't play with fire. Let's do it. Huh? Is that you, little girl? What are you doing in limbo? Don't tell me you're... Uh, yeah, I'm dead. What the fuck? You must not lie. Oh, okay. <laughs> what the... What the hell? <sighs> I'll... I'll just be going on, then. My brain is weird. Huh. I wonder where the getaway car went. Sure, let's talk to the quack doctor. The gnome made a trustworthy impression. Huh. Well, he's not so bad. Step right up, step right up, and admire the latest accomplishments. 
in modern medicine. Anti-wrinkle cream with skin-firming materials from outer space. Natural food supplements with amusing motifs from the animal world. Our brand new product, the pill for in-between. For all those who didn't have time before and don't want to wait till afterwards. Step right up, marvel at the sights, and take a free sample of Alcofix. The exclusive miracle treatment with an alcohol base. It tastes 100 proof and works 100 proof. Hello, little lady. Are you interested in a sample bottle of Alcofix, the miracle brandy? Uh huh. Do you have any bad pains, incurable genetic diseases, tinnitus, hepatitis, cervical cancer? Ew. Well, I've got these dots in my belly. Why, hello. What do we have here? <laughs> You've really caught something very special there. Congratulations. This definitely qualifies you to test a sample of Alcofix, the miracle brandy. To be honest, you almost look overqualified. Your rash is so severe, I'm not sure even Alcofix can heal it. Bravo! You might as well just take the entire bottle. Oh. Okay. Th thank you, sir. I cannot take the bottle. The color of the bottle reminded Lily of someone. Yeah. Uh, if you guys don't get it, I won't tell you. Step up. Step right up. Oh, it's you again. Sorry. I don't have any more free samples left. Even if you still look like you could use one. All I have left is only available at completely justifiable yet exorbitant prices. Or with a prescription. So, basically, healthcare. Yeah. That's weird that they'd make an American healthcare joke. And the company, I'm pretty sure, is like German or French? What the hell am I supposed to do with this? Hey, a hanky. The red chunks in the handkerchief were perhaps a clue that Lily needed medical help. Maybe so. I'm gonna wave my hanky at this guy. What's that? Is that the rotting meat I can smell? Uh-uh. Ugh. Then the brush of your teeth, huh? Oh, that's... Huh. Okay, um... Let me think... Okay, what do we got on hand? We got medicine, we got a handkerchief... Can we... chill the medicine? Are you completely nuts? Yes. You could easily get sick and cold, which does which doesn't mean that I'm sick, and I don't need this this alcoholic. The the devil's stuff. Either. Oh, okay. If you want to play with me, baby, you're gonna have to pay. I'm a bunny in a bottle. You gotta lie to me the right way. Why do I? Why do you guys bother seeing this? All right. The genie seemed to have a cold. Okay, what, what, do we, what can we do about a cold? We can give him this hanky. Uh, I... J j j just a... little... cold. But that, that, that does not mean I'm sick. And I don't need this, this alcoholic... The devil's stuff. Either. This game is weird. Let's go into the handkerchief. I don't need any medicine. Uh, what's that? Oh. Um. Quick, the medicine. 
Should come. So yum. Finally. Tasty. Itchy. So nice. So nice. The genie had broken his own rule. Apparently, it was okay to have a swig or two in certain situations. Yeah. Like when. Uh, what you doing? Oh no. Yeah, you know, when certain situations, like, uh, when you got friends around, or your wife leaves you. I like the beer hat. That's awesome. I want a stuffed animal with a beer hat. Send me one. Where were we? Hi there, Mr. Bartender Man. Alcohol powers activate! <laughs> yeah, she's fucking adorable. What's the matter? Is something wrong with your drink? Uh -uh. Oh, what have you done? <laughs> What's the matter? It tastes great. That bubbling in your lungs is, uh... <laughs> Wagga, wagga, wagga! Oh. What? Wagga, wagga, wagga? Wagga, wagga, wagga! Oh, uh... I don't have the ability to wagga... Make wagga that. Wagga. You know, while you're doing that... Could you break this open? Oh, thanks, man. I, I need that money. These coins came from the collection box for dead seafarers. It wasn't enough to buy a new box, but it was the thought that counted. There we go. Now, I think we all know we uh, we need a flounder. These coins came from the... Yeah, it was yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. I'll just put this to some German music and... Boom. <laughs> Oh, there's a flounder. Lily was astounded. A flounder. <laughs> Lily was astounded. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I misclicked. Uh, I think I might be drunk enough to hit up the uh, the police station. Uh, as you all know, little girls who are drunk get thrown into the cold, the the drunk tank. Incidentally, you know how drunk tanks work? It's really interesting. It's cold on purpose. Not that I've ever been in one. I've been in three. Uh, that's serious, I have. <laughs> What's this? You're as drunk as a skunk. Come on, off to the drunk tank with you. They're all so cold. Let this be a lesson to you. Drinking at your age. Tisk, tisk, tisk. And finally, there it was. The map. Lily was excited. What? A hamster. So that was the mystery behind the escaping map. Maybe Lily had finally found a new friend. But maybe everything was as before. Yeah, at least I got this map. And finally, there it was. The map. Edna had hidden in this cave by Moore Lake. But, wait a second. Lily already knew that. The map was, in reality, pretty useless. Especially when Lily thought about everything she had done to get her hands on it. Yep. That was a thing. Hmm. All right, well, now I gotta get out of here. Maybe I could get out through this barred window. All right, the get a car, uh, get a car ready, getaway car. Oh man, I'm having trouble speaking tonight. Bicycle! The getaway car was ready. Lily was on her own once again. All right. 
So let's see. So far, we've seen a little girl get tasered, a little girl explode someone, a little girl start drinking, and a little girl thrown into jail. Send your lowly fan art to natchevil at gmail.com. Uh, what's the matter? You've already had enough of the filtered air? You should have thought of that before reaching for the bottle. <sighs> oh, come on. Don't be so sad. That's exactly the kind of behavior that once made me release Edmund the Slasher. <laughs> you can't even imagine how much trouble I got into for that. It took weeks until little Melanie's parents spoke to me again. Huh? Oh, I'm just too soft-hearted. I'll let you go. But you have to promise me never to get into trouble again. Can you do that? I... Um... Yeah, no. Isn't there a thing about lying? Let's try it. Oh, yep. You must not lie. Uh-uh. Yeah, then I can't let you go. You can say plenty of things about me, but not that I don't learn from my mistakes. Hey there, Harvey. There was that funny rabbit again. Lily was no longer so happy to see him. Alright, well, let's see what this does. Woo! The ball of wool! Can I see it again? Uh-huh. Woogie! Skip, 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 Ooh. skip. Skip everything. Uh -huh. No, just skip past it. Oh. Um... Hi, pretty lady. That's something you don't. Lily had often wondered about justice at the convent. Okay, let's let's take a let's take a talk. Why is there a chalkboard? <gasps> Hi, Lily. Don't tell me you want to get out. Uh huh. I thought so. But you'd hardly be sitting in there if you knew how to behave properly, right? Uh -huh. Be quiet. You weren't about to contradict me, were you? Uh-huh. Well, I can't object to that. Contradictions are great. Sometimes I start contradicting at breakfast. For example, three slices of toast. Yum, delicious toast. Um, <laughs> Uh, but, but that would be a lie. And we both know. You must not lie. Lies are evil. Uh-uh. What? Of course lying is evil. Wait, I'll show you on this blackboard. Take a close look at this board. It shows some of the basic principles of our legal system. For example, that lying is evil. Um... What do you mean? No. Of course lying is evil. It can easily be deduced from the four top principles. God is good and true. But the devil is evil and has great wisdom. God is truth because he is full of wisdom, too. But the devil lies with all of his evil. That's why lies are always evil. You can construct the chain of logic leading to this conclusion yourself. It only takes three small steps to get the result. You can try it yourself. Okay. Um... I'm not sure if this counts as a logic puzzle or what. Let's see if I can quickly do this. Because, uh, let's see. Let's say... Wisdom and truth. Uh, evil and wisdom. So, evil truth. Yes. That's logical. Uh, so, so, truth is evil. I'm not... Real sure how this is logical, but okay. Lies are evil. 
evil is wise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's logical. So, God is... Hmm. Huh. I fucked up somewhere, and I, there's no reset button. So, let's see. Evil is truth, and truth is wise. Well, this might be a proper deduction, but it's not the result I wanted to see. Lies are evil. Next time, please try a little harder. Huh. Okay, by now you've kind of seen what's going on here. You find matching things to... Oh, man. It's hard to wrap your mind around it, though. So, okay, we want to say that lies are good. Right? Now, good is true. So we need to say that lies are true. So... Let's see here. Lies are evil. Evil is wise. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. That's logical. If evil is wise and truth is wise, uh -huh. then lies are truth. Yes. That's logical. Now, if good is true, and lies are true... All right. Lies are... What? Lies are good? But... But that can't be true. Uh, everything seems to fit. But... But that's... Okay. Another puzzle done. <sighs> I see Harvey took Apparently, the pyramid. Justicia was wrong. It seemed that lies weren't so bad after all. Lily had removed another block. And as you can see, Harvey took the pyramid head way out. <laughs> I don't even... Okay. Okay.